out to Forsyth, Georgia. Look at this. This is a man, 21 years old, now walking to freedom, Janarlo Wilson, who is being freed from jail today. He had initially been sentenced to 10 years behind bars for having consensual oral sex with another teen when he was 17 years old. Well, his attorney has been trying to get him out of jail on that charge. She called it cruel and unusual punishment. He was offered several plea deals but refused to take them because he would have to register as a sex offender. And because he said what he did was consensual, he wasn't going to say he was guilty. Well, that man stuck to his guns. Look at that smile on his face, likely just saw his mother and his little sister who are waiting for him with his attorney, B.J. Bernstein, all of them waiting to see him. And this is a moment they have been waiting for for a long time. There you go, a hug for mom. Probably never felt so good for either one of them. And there's Janarla Wilson's little sister. I know he's been waiting to see her as well. Janarla Wilson, after spending two years in jail, is a free man today because it was ruled uh, in a Supreme Court decision here in Georgia that it was, in fact, four to three. They said it was cruel and unusual punishment to give him that sentence. And so today, there he is walking out of jail, a free man. We're going to continue to follow that story for you because there will likely be much more coming out of it, especially when we hear from Janarlo Wilson, when we hear from his mom, Juanessa, who's right there behind him, his attorney, B.J. Bernstein, behind him, has talked to us a number of times. And we'll bring you more on this as soon as we have it. But, but again, uh, there he is, Janarlo Wilson, about to step up to the microphone. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to take those comments live or not. I think we are. We're just going to wait for them to get the mics ready here, and we will hear, uh, hear Gennaro Wilson's words. I'll stop talking as soon as I see him talking. Uh, I think they're probably just waiting to get the sound ready there. You know, a few things have to be worked out just to make sure that everybody can hear him. I've been very confused. Here we go. Let's listen part. in. You know, not knowing what to expect, you know, from all the disappointments we dealt with early on. But, you know, I'm finally, you know, happy to, to see that we, you know, we've got justice now. You know, Look how you think this day would ever come? Well, I seen it coming, but I, I didn't exactly know when. How did you hear the news this morning? Um, someone actually told me that they heard it on the radio, but I was in total disbelief. You know, I, I, I was waiting to see it for myself before I took anyone else's word for it. Did you have any expectation that it would happen today? No, I didn't. You know, actually, I just stopped trying to um, figure the courts out and, and stopped trying to put a date on it. You know, I just going to let it happen itself, and then when it came, I was going to deal with it. So what is this just a routine day? You got up expecting for another day behind prison, and the next thing you do, the work? Yes, sir. What is Did it you like believe that there's sister? been so many twists and turns in your case in the last two years where you thought you were close? Did you, when you heard it, did you think, ah, it can't be really true? I mean, did it seem a little surreal for you? Yes, it did. It, it felt unreal, and just till I, um, signed the papers, you know, to actually let me know that I was leaving because we actually um, went through this before back in June. So I was just hoping that it wasn't a repeat of that. Now, what's the first thing you want to do tonight? What do you, get, you want to go get a meal or what do you want to do? Oh, yes. Um, but, you know, basically, I'm just looking forward to spending time with my family. General, 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 what is it like to hold your sister as a free man and hug your mother just a few moments ago? We all saw that. It feels wonderful. You know, I, I've been away from it long enough. You know, I'm just ready, you know, to, um, try to piece back my life. Any bitterness or anger or what's your emotion? Oh, of course not. This has definitely been a learning experience and, what, you know, what you I, learned? You learned. I couldn't even put an all to words right now. What it, would you like to say to your supporters? Thank you. Thank what you, you. What do you plan to do with the rest of your life now? This has obviously changed your life. What would you like to do with your life now? Well, my first priority is to, um, Try to get in school as soon as possible. Where do you want to go to school? I have no idea yet. What do you, you want, want to continue do? pursuing football at all? Or? Um, yes, I'm definitely looking back on um, trying to get back in sports, and I would like to major in sociology. You know, you know, do you think uh, Rachel can play to a role not... in, in, your, in this ordeal? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that. No, I'll just... do, you, do you believe in the justice system in, in this country? Yeah, after now, yeah, I do. <laughs> you know, like, you go on a daily basis not to take the plea deal, or what do you think about that? No, um, at times, you know, I, I've dealt with <laughs> adversity, but now, you know, I'm glad that I, I stayed down for our cause, and, you know, now my family and myself are finally going to have to, I mean, we finally get to deal with happiness now. And you, you were insistent you're not a child molester. Talk about that. Oh, of course not. You know, I, I've never accepted that label. You know, I accepted the situation that I allowed myself to get into, but I never accepted that label. Any regrets what do you have to at all? Say to all looking back, any regrets at all? As far as, you know, standing up and fighting for what I believe is justice, no. What do you have to say to all the supporters, all the people who believed in you and believed you were going to be getting out? 
Well, I want to say thank you very much. You know, it means a lot to me and my family that so many people came to our defense and, you know, stood up and fought for us. And your attorney, DJ? Oh, she's wonderful. <laughs> What's the first thing you'd like to do when you go home tonight? Um, get some rest. <laughs> Where, where's, the, where's the welcome home party? Um, it's not going to be any more parties for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa, did you ever think you'd see the rain? Uh, yeah, I did. You I still did. Have faith. I still have faith. You have to have faith. What was it like when you first got that call this morning that your son was going to be free after all this time? I think I had laid down for five minutes when she called me. She, it was on the first or second page of the of a 48 page fax, and she was like, "Get up and get dressed." And I was like, "What? What is going on?" And and I was just screaming. I walked, I ran around the house, inside the house, 20 times before I can decide what I needed to do. And then I was like, "Okay, well, I need to wash my hair. Okay, I need to brush my teeth." And then I was like, "BJ, I don't have any clothes in my closet." <laughs> So it was, it was, you know, so it was came amazing. Out of the blue for you too. It, it came completely out of the blue. We had no idea that this was going to come down today. Were you giving up hope? Were you thinking this is just not going to happen? You know, I didn't give up hope, but um, what I did is reevaluate myself, and I had to come at peace with myself because I was starting to get agitated and irritated. But I, I never gave up hope, you know, in you know the judicial system, and I never gave up hope in all the prayers that went out for us. He when says you that walked he's up learned lessons. What lesson do you hope he's learned? I know he's learned a lot of lessons now, and um, to make wiser decisions, as with you know any other teenagers, I hope that they learn something from this as well, because a lot of people do stand to gain from this, or have gained from this. I'll say. Um, it won't happen to another teenager in what, Georgia. What do so. you want to get out there and tell other teens? Anything? Oh, definitely, definitely. What is it that you'd like other teens to learn from what happened to you? Okay, I'll drop off. Bye. Um, I, I, I just want them to know that this is nothing that they want to come to, and you know they should be, you know, very hesitant before they, you know, join certain crowds and you know, make certain decisions. Vanessa, no. what do you have planned for your son now, tonight, and in the future, the coming days? Um, in the coming days, we're just going to take it one day at a time. We spend a lot of family time. I know you got to put some more meat on those bones, so. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to say to Reverend Al Sharpton? I thank you. Thank you. Thank as, you to as, everybody. To everyone, yeah, not just through? Reverend Sharpton, uh, uh, to him as well, but thank you to everyone for all the prayers and all the support. Anything that stands out in your mind? You have to no, because the whole process to, uh, has been kind of Wilson to his mother, Vanessa Bennett, uh, talking about, he, uh, literally just moments ago, we saw him be released from prison, and we're listening to the reaction now. Uh, Janarla Wilson and his mother really thanking the, the number of supporters they have had uh, over the months and really the years that this case has been going on. We're joined now by attorney Mark Iglarsh. Uh, Mark, I know you've been following this year in Florida. This is a case though, that really got national attention uh, because of it. Are, are you surprised with